Um, Balaam made some mistakes, and he's referred to three different ways in the scripture. The way of Balaam is spoken of by 2 Peter. The error of Balaam is mentioned by Jude in verse 11, and the doctrine of Balaam shows up in Revelation 2 verse 14. And uh, what are these? The way of Balaam, his mistake was making religion his source of wealth. He was a hireling. He, he, he prophesied for money. Big mistake. Big mistake. The error of Balaam also was he was hired by the enemies of the people of God to curse them, even though he's warned to, not to, by God. And the doctrine of Balaam is something we haven't seen yet, but that's coming. That has to do with spiritual unchastity, marriage with the world. What Balaam is going to do, he couldn't prophesy to please Balak, but what he did do, he explained to Balak how he can undo Israel. He suggests that he take his best-looking gals, camp along the fringes, entice the men to have sex with him, get them involved in the uh, immorality, and by them getting, from that immorality, God would judge Israel. That counsel of Balaam is what Balak takes and, and gets Israel into trouble. Now he does, Balaam does live riotously afterward, but he will perish with the enemies of God at the end. That will occur in Joshua 13. Mm -hmm.